Hello and welcome to this tutorial on we're going to add a table into a drawing. We'll look at um, changing dimension um, decimal place places along with just changing a dimension to a, a letter or a note um, if you need it. So the first thing we'll do is we'll add a table. So uh, once you've got your drawing set up you can go click insert tables and for this time we're just going to use a general table. So over here on the left it shows us what information we can change. So we'll make it um, three columns or four columns and four rows. So this is the borders if you want to if you want to make your exterior a bit thicker than your interior. Um, and then go ahead and click OK. So now on your cursor, you've created a table. Let's go ahead and click um, that into a position that you want. And now you can and, uh, fill out each, each of the cells. So basically, if you click on it, so we'll call this one length. So good practice for drawings is to have everything in capital letters. Um, so this one uh, we'll call small diameter this one we'll call large large diameter and I really don't need that last column so we'll just leave that blank um, for you you can um, go ahead and right click and delete a column if you want kind of messes up the borders a little but it's all right. So we have our length, our small diameter, and our, our large diameter. So we can also give them a name. So we'll call this L. We'll call this SD. And we'll call this one LD. And th those will be the symbols that we will um, actually change. So you know, and if you want to have a, a name, you can add a, a column that you have a name, whereas one's a seven millimeter, one's an eight millimeter, one's a nine millimeter. So again, right clicking, you can insert columns to the left and to the right as well as delete them. So now you can type in whatever dimensions you want. So our current length is 300. And if I want to, if my other configuration is only 200, and you can basically fill those in to whatever your requirement is. So it's just clicking on that cell um, and then typing and enter. Um, so we'll make it 110. So these, these numbers need to be, be the ones you're pulling in from your actual part. So how do I change my length to this symbol? So you can click on that dimension and dimension text is where um, you, you want to be at. So the greater than and less than symbol um, with dim in between is SolidWorks way of saying, I'm going to pull the dimension from your part file in and um, use that as the number that I'm showing. So you just have to delete that. It tells you you're going to override a dimension. Do you want to continue? And you click yes. And then you can type whatever you want in there. So I want to type an L. So now when you look at that dimension, it's just called L. And it still has the same leaders and kind of same connection to your drawing. Same same thing over here. We're going to just change change that to SD. So one thing to note, the actual symbol of diameter is, is coded in SOLIDWORKS as this, and then that's, again, the number it's pulling in. So we will um, get rid of all that and call this one SD. And we can do the same for, for this other one. Yes. So yes, you want to. So now all of those dimensions that we just changed are just text and you know it's kind of assumed that if it's text you'll 
look around your drawing and find a table which should tell you some information um, about those letters. So you can create a table a bit bigger than this and put all of your different Allen key and those dimensions in there um, for that assessment. So moving on to the dimensions, again, the tolerance guide, and it's for machine features, uh, is this. So depending on the number of decimal places that you have, um, will give you the, the tolerance that the symmetric tolerance as a standard. So again, to change any of the number of decimal places, you click on your dimension, and then you come over to the left. So your tolerance and precision. So if you want to change the type of tolerance, you can change it here, but we'll leave that at none and just use the sheet. And if I want to change the precision, I want that strange pocket inside to have two decimal places. Um, so that changed to two decimal places instead of just the standard one. So I've changed this to two, to one, and to zero. So let's let's swap it. So let's make this. So you click on the dimension. We'll give this one um, none because I'm not too worried about that length. We want this one to be extra precise and have a tighter tolerance. And this one, we, we want a little bit tighter than before. So again, you can click on that dimension and just go over there and change the, the number of decimal places or the precision of your dimension, which in turn changes the tolerance on that dimension. So for assessment one, the hex key, you really don't need to be changing the type of tolerance. I just want to see you guys um, changing the actual precision of the dimension um, so that the actual tolerance from the sheet get pulled in for that dimension. So we've added a table, put some information in there, change those dimensions to letters that will reference the table and look at changing the precision and therefore the tolerance on your dimensions. Thank you.